In today's video, we're going to talk about the 2021 American Silver Eagle design change and why I believe the US Mint has made a big mistake in not only changing the look of the coin, but horrible timing and what security features and concepts I would have went with instead. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about the American Silver Eagle and why I believe the U.S. Mint is making a huge mistake with changing the design of the reverse. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also, subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really Really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. Use promo code PRESIDENT for a 10% discount. So today I wanted to talk about the Silver Eagle. As we can see, I have one on screen. I actually have quite a few different silver coins, rounds, and bars on screen. But in today's video, I wanted to primarily focus on the Silver Eagle, the beautiful Silver Eagle, the most recognizable, the most in demand, the most sought after and trusted pure silver, one troy ounce coin that exists. Number one coin. And it's the base of my stack. It's the foundation of my own personal silver and gold, all my precious metals. I have more Silver Eagles than any other coin, any other round, any other bar any other anything, more Silver Eagles than anything else. Not only is it my favorite coin because of the fact that it's the most recognizable pure Silver one troy ounce coin, but I've always been a huge fan of the way that it looks. Anybody who has been watching my video since 2017, 2018, they know that I'm a big fan of how the Silver Eagle looks. And I've been saying it for several years now, as beautiful of a design this is right here, I think the reverse is even nicer. I just love the way it looks. I love the shield. I love the stars. I love the eagle. I just love the way it looks. And I'm also not a big fan of change, even when it's change for the better. To be honest with you, I don't like things that I'm used to being tweaked or altered or changed or flipped upside down. That's just me. I'm old school in a lot of ways. So I don't like things being changed. I'm not a big fan of change. So when I had learned that the 2020 Silver Eagles were going to be the last year having the classic Silver Eagle reverse design, that's pretty disappointing. Not only because is it the most recognizable pure silver one troy ounce coin out there, but it's also my favorite looking coin. I just love the way it looks. It's my favorite coin. Don't change my favorite coin. That's the way I see it. But unfortunately, we are not the ones calling the shots. We are not the ones making the decisions. It's out of our hands. It's beyond our control. There's nothing we can do about it. We can sit around making video after video after video complaining about how we don't want the design to change. But guess what? The design is going to change and there's not a whole lot we can do about that. If the premiums make sense, I'll continue to stack the Silver Eagle. But if they don't, okay, it is what it is. I'll move on over to the Maple Leaf or some other miscellaneous coins. But I personally believe that the US Mint is making a huge, huge mistake when it comes to the decision to change the way the Silver Eagle looks. And this is why. As I said, it's the most recognizable pure silver one troy ounce coin that exists. Why is it the most recognizable? How is anything recognizable? Because of the way that it looks. So why would you change the look of the most recognizable and trusted and desired Pure silver one troy ounce coin out there. And I say it very specifically like that because there are coins of other denominations and other different levels of purity and whatnot. But the one troy ounce, three nines fine, pure silver coin, when you put them all out there, the Maple Leaf, the Kangaroo, the Libertad, the Britannia, the Philharmonic, all of those coins, I'm not saying that the Silver Eagle blows all the other ones out of the water. I don't believe that to be true. 
However, I do believe the Silver Eagle is in first place. And not only do I believe that, that's not really my opinion, just when, when you look at the sales, when you look at the popularity, there's the Silver Eagle is just number one. And it's the most recognizable because of the way that it looks. And now you're changing the way that it looks. To me, that makes absolutely no sense. Something that I've been saying since I learned that they were going to change the design was, why would you change it? Why not just add something to the existing look instead of giving it a whole new design? Which, by the way, the new design, I'll put a picture up on screen. This is what the Silver Eagle is going to look like. I don't know if you're a fan of it. I know if you ask 10 people the same question, you're going to get 10 completely different answers. But in this case, I don't believe I've gotten a single comment since the new design was released from somebody saying that they actually like the way it looks. Now, I'm not going to nitpick about the new design. I, I, I think that it was a poor choice. In fact, there was another design, which I'll put on screen. This was an option. This was a possibility for what the Silver Eagle new design could look like. To be honest, if they went with this design, I'm not going to lie, I would be a pretty big fan of it. I like the way it looks. I still wouldn't like the fact that you changed the Silver Eagle, but I like the way this design looks. But the design that they went with, I don't know, something about it. The wings are cut off. It's angled weird. It's looking down like it appears to be defeated. I don't know. I just I just don't really like the way that it looks. I hope they do a little bit something in the background to make it pop a little bit more, make it a little bit more exciting because that's a really bland design if you ask me. Again, not to nitpick. I'm just voicing my opinion over here. But here is something that I found on Google. This was not a concept. This was not anything that the U.S. Mint released. This was not anything that any of the mints released. At least I don't think so. It's just something that I found on Google. And it's the same design as this right here, but they actually have rays or bursts in the background. I'll put the picture up right here. That right there. This is something that we talk about in the VIP club. By the way, if anybody's interested in joining the VIP club, I do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Link in the description. And oh my God, I love the way that looks. See what I mean? If you kept the same design, but added something to it, a security feature, anti-counterfeit technology. If you added something to the current design, I don't think anybody would be complaining. If anything, I think people would actually be celebrating over that because to my understanding, everyone who stacks the Silver Eagle loves the way it looks. So if you added something for safety, security, and protection, that would be even better. In fact, many of you know what the 2021 Britannia looks like. I do not have a 2021 silver Britannia, but I do have a 2021 gold Britannia. And here's a concept that I personally think would make perfect sense for the Silver Eagle. See this right here? I know it's a one tenth ounce coin. Let me zoom in a little bit. You see how it has that circle right there in the, the bottom left that security feature right there. See how you're looking at it like that? It's the Trident logo and then you angle it a different way. It turns into a padlock. Something like that. I think that would be perfect for the Silver Eagle. And not only do I think it would be perfect for the Silver Eagle, but I think it would fit perfectly. Because look, what is in the bottom left, similar to pretty much almost the exact spot of where this little circular security feature is almost the exact same spot. The sun. Imagine having some type of security feature right there inside the sun of the Silver Eagle. Maybe instead of a trident and a lock, maybe a star and a lock or something. Something like that. Something patriotic, something that makes sense to be on the American Silver Eagle. Something like that, just as an example. But I think that would fit perfectly. It's the same exact spot. So imagine they did something like that, and on the reverse, they kept it as is, but they added those bursts or those rays in the background, similar to the one that I just showed on screen. Imagine that they did that. If you ask me, I think that would have been the perfect choice. And what's weird about the 2021 design change is that the first half of the year 
are of the older design. I think they really dropped the ball on that, in my opinion and from my perspective. If you want to change the design, I'm not going to really be in favor of that, but it is what it is. But why would you change a design in the middle of the year? So the first half of the year, there are gold eagles and silver eagles out there that say 2021 that look exactly like this. And then in the later half of the year, there's going to be new gold and silver American Eagle coins that say 2021 with a whole new look. That, to me, makes absolutely no sense. That, to me, was completely absurd because all the hype last year was all about how 2021 was going to be the new design. There was nothing about how the design was going to change halfway through the year. So people loaded up on the 2020 Silver Eagles because everybody was under the impression that the 2020 Silver Eagles, that was going to be the last year with that design. So now, not to say that Silver Eagles are really a collector's coin, but the 2020 Silver Eagles kind of lost their collectability. It just collapsed overnight as soon as they said that 2021 was going to keep the same design and they would change it towards the middle or towards the end of the year. That to me makes no sense. That to me is an even bigger mistake than changing the design. Bad timing. In my opinion and from my perspective, they could have always postponed it, could have said the new design is coming in 2022, but I feel like if they were to do that now, that would really drive people up the wall. I don't think people would really be too big of a fan of that, especially when you made a design change that a lot of people aren't even that big of a fan of to begin with, and then you postponed the release of the new design coins, and then if you postpone it again, I, I don't think that would really go over very well. So I don't really know what's going on with the U.S. Mint, but I wanted to talk about that today. I wanted to share some of my ideas, share some of my concepts. I showed a couple of designs on screen, and I'm very curious. What do you guys think? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to the current and the new design for the Silver Eagle and what you think of some of my concepts. In addition to that, I would like to take a moment to not be complaining and talk about how the new Silver Eagles will have anti-counterfeit technology. You can actually go onto eBay and search up Silver Eagles, and you can find some coins, quote-unquote coins. I'm being sarcastic when I say this. They're completely fake. Let me just be as forward about that as possible. You can find fake Silver Eagles all over eBay. And you know how on eBay it says where the item is shipped from? It all says China. A bunch of 6 or $7 Silver Eagles from China. They're not real. They're fake. They're probably not even made up of actual silver. I bet if you weigh them, it wouldn't even weigh a troy ounce. Just It's just completely fake. It's a scam. It's not real. It's advertised as real. And by the way, if you're putting something out there with face value and you're counterfeiting currency, because it's money and currency at the t same time, the Silver Eagle, because of course it's a $1 face value coin, if you're putting out a fake coin, if you're producing fake currency or fake money, that's a pretty big problem. Not just for the people in the stacking community, but that is not good for anyone. Fake money out there, prop money, video money, Hollywood money, whatever you want to call it, that's not good for people to be under the impression that they're holding on to something that's real. This, by the way, this is real. This was one of my first Silver Eagles, by the way. It's, uh, it's my pocket silver. Earned me the nickname Major Cheese Ball, which I made t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, and coffee mugs out of in case anybody else is a Major Cheese Ball and wants to get one for yourself. You're more than welcome to do so. Link in the description. But I'm not a fan of fake silver. I'm not a fan of counterfeit coins. I'm not a fan of people out there, whether it's companies or who are faking silver and advertising it as real and selling it and profiting off of it. I'm not a fan of that. So I've always been a big fan of safety, security features. I've always been a big fan of anti-counterfeit technology, proof of authenticity, serial numbers. I've always been a big fan of things like that. 
And by the way, speaking of proof of authenticity, here's another example of what the U.S. Mint could have started to implement when it came to Silver Eagles. What if we took a sunshine bar? I'll zoom in a little bit. And then what if we took the Mint Mark SI decoder lens, because that's what this right here is. That's the Mint Mark SI sunshine bars. You put that over top. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it from this angle. Can you see that? Let's see. There we go. We can see that now. Took me a couple seconds to actually get it on screen, but I can see it in person, but it doesn't really show up on camera all that well, but you can see it now. A decoder lens that shows the word valid on the back of a bar or a back of a round could potentially be the back of a coin as well. Why don't you guys head on down in the comments and let me know. Anything and everything related to the Silver Eagle, if you were in charge, if you were the one calling the shots on the safety and security features, anti-counterfeit technology, proof of authenticity, and just the whole new look, what would your decision be? When it came to Silver Eagle design change, would you actually change the design? Maybe you're tired of looking at this particular image, think it's time for something new. Maybe you would keep the design, but you would add something to it as a layer of security. Or maybe you would just keep the design as is and you wouldn't add anything. Because also, by the way, one could argue that now that it has security features, it's made safer for us. And that could be a reason to crank up the premiums a little bit more. Like, oh yeah, they're more expensive because they're safer. Potentially. I have no idea what they're going to be going for. I'm very curious to know what they're going to be going for, and I would like to get one. Even though I'm not a fan of the design, I would like to get one. I would like to do a proper review and have it in my hand rather than just going by images and pictures and sketches that we found on Google or whatever. So head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and how you would implement security features or anti-counterfeit technology or if you would change the design of this particular piece of precious metal. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,700, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products t shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released. Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, when it comes to the Silver Eagle, are you a fan of the current design? Are you disappointed that they're changing the design? Regardless of the fact that, you know, maybe I'm sure a lot of us don't like change, period. But let's just say 
the new Silver Eagle design, which is going to be put on a silver round. Just pretend it's not even going to be the new Silver Eagle. Do you like the way it looks? Forget the fact that the Eagle is changing. Would you pick up a piece of silver like that, that just simply had that design? You like the way it looks? You're not a fan of how it looks? Kind of like me? I think it looks kind of defeated in a way, and I don't like the way that it's angled, and I don't like the fact that its wings are cut off. I don't like how bland the background is. Hopefully they do something about that. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't because the background on the current Silver Eagles is actually kind of bland as well, but the eagle with the shield and the stars up top takes up a majority of the space on the new design. It looks like there's a lot of empty background room. Again, not to nitpick, I just wanted to share some of my thoughts, some of my opinions. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to the Silver Eagle, the new design, the current design, and some ideas and concepts for security features. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.